بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر فیض اللہ اینڈ یو آر واچنگ ایزی میتھمیٹکس ان دس ویڈیو وی یوز زی ٹرانسفارم ٹو اپٹین دا سولوشن آف ڈفرنس ایکویشنس لیٹ اس سی سم ایگزامپلز آف ڈفرنس ایکویشنس دا فرسٹ ایگزامپل از y n plus 1 minus y n is equal to 1 n is from 0 up to so on this is called first order difference equation let us see another example y n plus 2 plus 3 y n plus 1 minus y n is equal to n square n is from 0 up to so on this is called second order difference equation let us see third example y n plus 3 minus y n plus 1 plus 7 y n is equal to 3 n is from 0 up to so on this is called third order ordinary difference equation so the highest order is called order of that equation for example in example number three you can see this is y n plus three so this three is order of that equation in the second example you can see the highest order is two y n plus two so this is called second order difference equation similarly if we have y n plus four plus up to so on then that equation will be called fourth order difference equation so we shall use the method of z transform to solve such type of equations before to start the solution of some problems let us revise some useful formulas the first formula is that we know that the z transform of y n is denoted by capital y of z and this is defined by summation n is from 0 to infinity y n divided by z power n the second important formula is that one that if we are given a sequence y n where n is greater than or equal to zero equal to one then the z transform of one is equal to z divided by z minus 1. We have proved this result in the previous video lecture. Now, if we have another example, let us say y n is a sequence which is equal to some constant. Let us say a power n. n is greater than or equal to 0. In that case, the z transform of a power n is equal to z divided by z minus a. In this case, z absolute is greater than a. And in the above case, z absolute is greater than 1. Another useful result is called the time shift property time shift property according to this property 
if we are given y n plus d and we have to find at z transform then the general formula for this is given by z power d d is this number which is in the subset of y n to capital y of z minus summation n is from 0 to d minus 1 by n divided by z power n. Now from this general result we can obtain several formulas. For example, if d is equal to 1 then just replace d by 1 on both sides of this result and we can get that the z transform of y n plus 1 is equal to after simplification we can get that this is small z y of z minus z y naught similarly if d is equal to 2 just replace d by 2 on both sides of this equation and we can get that z transform of y n plus 2 is equal to replace d by 2 and after simplification we can get z square y of z minus z square y naught minus z y1 key point to solve a difference equation we use four steps if we are given a difference equation first of all take the z transform on both sides and simplify this. In the second step, put the initial value. In the third step, solve the resulting equation for y of z. It means that keep y of z on one side of the equation and transfer all other terms to other side of the equation. The last step is take the inverse z transform on both sides. Inverse z transform on both sides. and simplify. In this way, after simplification, we can get the required solution. So now we are in the position to obtain the solution of a difference equation by using the method of Z transform. In this example, we are given a difference equation y n plus 1 minus 3 y n is equal to 4 with the initial condition y naught is equal to 1 and we have to obtain its solution by the method of z transform. In the first step, 
we shall take the z transform on both side of this equation so let us do that z transform of y n plus 1 minus 3 y n is equal to z transform of 4 and now by the linear property we can write that this is z transform of y n plus 1 minus 3 z transform of y n is equal to 4 z transform of 1 and now we can use the formula from the shift property that z transform of y n plus 1 is equal to z capital Y of z minus z y naught minus 3 y of z is equal to 4 and z transform of 1 is z divided by z minus 1. Now let us put the value of the initial condition y naught which is equal to 1 and taking y of z as common after simplification we can get that this is z minus 3 y of z is equal to 4z divided by z minus 1 and minus z this minus z will go to other side of equation so it will become plus z let us simplify this by taking the LCM. So if we take the LCM, we can get that this is Z minus one. And after simplification, we can get three Z plus Z square. Now, if we divide both side by Z minus three, we can get that Y of Z is equal to z square plus 3z divided by z minus 1 into z minus 3. Now we can take z as common from here. So it will become z into z plus 3 divided by z minus 1 into z minus 3. And now from here we can see that dividing both sides by z we can get y of z divided by z is equal to z plus 3 divided by z minus 1 into z minus 3. And here now we can use the partial fraction. So according to the partial fraction, we can get a divided by z minus 1 plus b divided by z minus 3. Let us say this is equation number 1. Now if we Simplify this, we can get z plus 3 is equal to a into z minus 3 plus b into z minus 1. If we put z is equal to 1 in this equation, after simplification, we can get that a is equal to minus 2. And if we put z is equal to 3 in this equation, after simplification, we can get b is equal to 3. So therefore, equation 1 becomes y of z divided by z. 
this is equal to minus 2 divided by z minus 1 plus 3 divided by z minus 3. And if we multiply both sides by z, we can get that y of z is equal to minus 2z divided by z minus 1 plus 3z divided by z minus 3. And in the last step, we take the inverse z transform on both sides. So by the z inverse of y of z, which is equal to minus 2, z inverse of z divided by z minus 1 plus 3, z inverse of z divided by z minus 3. Now, we know that the z transform of y n is capital Y of z. So therefore, the z inverse transform of capital Y of z is y n, which is equal to minus 2 now we also know that the z transform of 1 is z over z minus 1. So the inverse z transform of z over z minus 1 is 1 plus 3. We know that the z transform of a power n is equal to z over z minus a, but here a is 3. So therefore, the z inverse transform of z over z minus 3 is 3 power n. And now if we simplify this, we can get y n is equal to minus 2 plus 3 power n plus 1. And this is the required solution of the given equation. That's all.